This will cut them off. It just takes a, a oh. spot in the skillet. Wow. So they, they work really well. There again, got a lucky rabbit foot for you. You can take this back to California with you if you like. Those Californians wouldn't take to this thing. No. I don't think so. Yeah, everybody says I'm the worst kind of liberal. I'm a gun-toting liberal. Mm -hmm. So, there's that. So now you can do this kind of any way you want, but I I usually go ahead and just take the shears and cut the, uh, cut anything off I'm not gonna use. Mm -hmm. Like this, when it's just mostly skin and not meat. This is a really nice rabbit. This, this particular, like these legs are very meaty. See, they're big. Oh, yeah. But that's another thing these shears do good for you, well for you. It's easier than using a knife, actually. And once you put it in an air fryer or whatever you cook with, you'll never know. You'll never know that it was cut off this way. Oh, have you cooked these in air fryer? I have not, but we're thinking about trying it. Natalie is so good at cooking rabbit, though, with regular frying, I almost hate to have her do it. There's actually no bone holding these front legs on. This is just tendons. So... It's a real nice, it's a, just a really good tasting animal. It is really not a very, you know, people use the word gamey. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have much of a wild flavor. Isn't it like a tough, pretty tough? It's one? not particularly tough. Most wild game is tough. I'll go ahead and cut this neck off because the dogs like to eat it. So I'm saving my little pile here for the dogs for, we call that McDonald's for them. It's, uh, it, it's they absolutely go crazy for it. And now we're gonna hope oh, there's another in organ. Um, we're gonna go to another area now and do the finished cleanup. I've got a game sink in there that I use. So that's probably enough. Thank you for watching, folks.